Spring is a time for color and rebirth outside, and it's a time to take a look at recreating our living space inside that's fresh, clean, and exciting. And that's where Jesse Gooch comes in. Jesse is with Painters Plus. They take the pain out of painting. Hi, Jesse. Hi. Thanks for being here with us. Can you please share with your audience the story of how you got started? Well, I started painting uh, just out of high school. I started working for a painting contractor. It was myself, one other uh, employee, an older man, who taught me the ropes and taught me how to paint things correctly. I uh, learned a lot with him over the, uh, the first couple of years. Then shortly after that, our boss started to start a job, move on to the next one, and that sort of thing, and left a lot of jobs unfinished. Shortly after that, actually went out of business. So what I did was I, I went to each uh, individual's house that were incomplete, knocked on their doors, and basically asked them if we could uh, finish their, their job and put their house back together. So we did. And uh, basically one uh, customer, they started referring us to their friends and family, and that's kind of how we got started. Now, at Painters Plus, you've got a variety of services that you offer mm -hmm. to the public. Share with us all of your services. Okay, besides interior exterior painting, we also do uh, deck and fence staining. We also do uh, drywall service, we do wallpapering, we do wallpaper removal, we do textured ceilings, um, and anything paint-wise that you could... I think. heard you can help me out with my summer furniture. Yeah, we could actually paint furniture. Uh, you could bring it to us and we can paint it at our warehouse, or we can come to you and do it on your, at your home. When, you, when you're painting the exterior of a home, and um, you know, we, a lot of us, we have siding on our homes, and siding can begin to kind of look dingy and, and fade, and, and I know with my home, I feel like I really wish I could do something to spruce that up, but it's aluminum, it's vinyl, I'm kind of stuck with it. Well, number one, you can paint any, any surface. You can paint vinyl, aluminum, anything like that. We do, we've done hundreds of them. Uh, our first process of the, of, of the first step of the process is to power wash, to kind of clean that chalkiness that you're talking about, mm -hmm. to prep the surface, and then we uh, apply two coats of paint after that. I know you're very proud of what you and, you and your employees do when you're taking care of the inside of a home. Right, first thing we do is we move all the furniture into the center of the room. We cover everything with plastic, lay our canvas drop cloths, tape off all the woodwork. We uh, fill any hole, sand is needed. Uh, same thing, caulk anything that needs to be caught and apply two finish coats. And when you're done, will you put my furniture back? We'll put it all back. We clean everything. It's going to look a million times better than when we first got there. And you're very proud of your uh, accreditations and awards that you've received yeah. here in Western we're, New York. We're uh, A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. Um, I'm also EPA lead certified painting contractor. We're also OSHA safety certified. Uh, we also won uh, the Business of the Year for 2012. Uh, I'm also a former Vice President of the Painting and Decorating Contractors of America. You're what I would call a hometown hero because you've reached, you go ahead and you reach out in your own community and uh, you started something called Project Hope. Right, Project Hope it stands for Helping Others Paint Exteriors. It's designed for a, a person or family that's going through financial hardship or disability and uh, they apply online or at our office and send their, their uh, hardship story along with some photos and I have to make the tough decision to choose that one person. Uh, we started it in 2011, we did it for a disabled uh, a Vietnam veteran and we teamed up with the mayor, s several uh, city officials and we painted their house in a day. Did it again in 2012 for a 90 year old widow uh, who just fractured her back and uh, same thing, about 20 of us got together and painted her house in a day. And I know that uh, out in North Tonawanda, there was a situation with some graffiti and it was coming to uh, Canal Fest, the time for Canal Fest was on its way and, and uh, you, you were made aware of a story of a problem there. And yeah, well unfortunately a bunch of, of uh, kids had tagged uh, graffiti in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the area where they have the Canal Fest. So it became kind of a, a new story that uh, all this profanity and, the, and uh, graffiti was present during the Canal Fest. So I uh, spoke to the city and the mayor and asked them if they would mind if I could fix it up for them, so we did. You've taken the time to reach out to your community and uh, it sounds to me as though you have earned the respect of your peers and your customers. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being with us here today. Thank Jesse you. Gooch and Painters Plus. They take the pain out of painting. You can reach Jesse and his team by calling 693 plus. That's 693-7587 or go online at paintersplus.us.
I promised to give you some great ideas for your family for places to go. So here are a few. Art Park in Lewiston is celebrating 40 years of bringing you innovative shows, concerts, and interactive art. For a full list of concerts, including Joan Jett and the Black Hearts, to their 40th anniversary gala, head to their website, artpark.net. While you're in Niagara County, you might want to visit the Aquarium of Niagara at 701 Whirlpool Street in Niagara Falls, not far from the falls and the gorge. The Sea Lion Show is not to be missed. Find out more at aquariumofniagara.org. Mark this date on your calendar, July 13th and 14th, when the Taste of Buffalo presented by Tops rolls out from Niagara Square and up Delaware Avenue. WBBZ will be there this year to meet and greet our fans. The Taste of Buffalo is the nation's second largest food festival, attracting a half a million people from all over the country to sample the best of what our region has to offer. For information, head to tasteofbuffalo.com. Speaking of WBBZ TV, when What's the Buzz in Western New York returns? Find out what makes our station tick.